What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar, as well as partner in the Ambrosia Collective and 015 Nutrition alongside my beautiful wife, Katie. Thank you. I'm actually a little teary eyed. I was telling her how much I love her. <laughs> I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing. I just realized how blessed I am to have this life with this beautiful woman next to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. That was nasty. Okay, so my, my kids are like, what are you doing? So I want to tell you guys a story about how I almost lost my ish. Um, I didn't curse. That's two videos in a row. It's not over. Yesterday <laughs> at a soccer game. Now, I'm usually the dad who the only time I get mad is if parents go off at refs. I'll even go off at our parents because refs, we have a ref shortage and half the time they're 15 years old and you're yelling at a kid, you know, but these guys are older, right? So anyway, this was a thir 13 so, year old boy. So it's, yeah. So it's 13 year old boys. And I want to tell you this story and I want to tell you why I lost my ish. Okay. So we're playing this team, very close game. We're down zero two. We ended up tying them three to three at the end. So this keeper, he was a good keeper yeah. and he had a collision. We have a forward. His name is Connor. And the kid is the fourth fastest kid cross country in the state, yeah. but he's not built like a cross country runner. He's built like a linebacker who runs cross country. In fact, I call him the, I, I always say about Connor, he's built differently because I've trained him. I used to train this team. I used to My coach this team yeah. and he just, he always sprints. He is by far the most impressive player I've ever coached as far as his work his work rate and his just just genetics. The kid can run for hours at full speed. Katie gets mad at me always bragging about him like he's my own kid, you know. But I, I love my kid more, obviously. But he any kid I coach, All right, so you wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You, I want to explain. Every kid I coach or have coached is my son or my daughter. It's just how I am. I'm just very, very. Um, I take it very personally. Like every kid on the Ravenwood High School wrestling team, they're my kids. I call them my kids. I call them son. I mean, it is what it is because I take, I take an emotional investment in their future. And that's how I get very, very, like I am with my supplements, right? So anyway, so this kid basically collides with Connor. When Connor's running for the goal, doesn't matter who's in his way. Doesn't matter if a horse jumps in his way. So He's running it over. The keeper went down for the ball, head down. Boom. Got his head. Head got clipped, right? Kid's down, holding his head. And um, game stop. Twenty minutes. Uh, had to keep 20. him on the field while they're doing all the the uh, con concussion protocol testing. So they take him out. It was they they take him off the field finally. And as they go on, this kid comes running back on the field. Yeah, it was like fifteen. And I started loot. I'm like, okay, they did the concussion protocol, but you could tell they didn't know how to do it. Like there are certain things you do in the concussion protocol, different balancing activities, different eye movement activities. And I've taken the concussion protocol at least 20 times in the past five years. Cause every certification you have from USSF to Exos to CrossFit usually has a seat, a concussion protocol, um, to safe sport, which is the one where it makes sure you're not a child predator. I believe they even had a concussion protocol. Concussions are a big deal, especially with the new CTE thing. And basically, dude, I've had over five that I know of. My business partner, Chad, his head got cut open because CTE he has- CTE is essentially- Long-term long -term brain term damage. Long-term brain damage from head trauma, like football players. Basically, once you turn older and you get it, you're done. Right. And, and it, it increases your rate of suicide right. by tremendously. And aggression. And depression. Like so anyway, ev basically every mental okay, ailment so they, you can they have. put this keeper back in the game, right? And he's down there, and the play was all on the other side of the field, but he was kind of in front of us, and he kept doing this, like every he was, minute or two. He was like two, holding his head. He was doing this. And he was slouched. And then he like leaned over and was like supporting his upper body on his legs, looking like he was nauseous or about to like fall over. So, so I see this, and I'm like, ref! Get this kid out of the game. I'm like, you guys are going to hurt this kid. And the coach, I'm like, you need to be fired right now. This kid needs out of the game. And their parents are all like, it's okay. I'm like, you're an idiot. You're from Atlanta. You're stupid. And I'm like, somebody get this kid out of the game. I'm losing it. So we even said to, you even said to the keeper, like, keeper, if, if you're not I'm like, dude, feeling pull good, yourself out of the me. game. It's a, you're going to forget this game by tomorrow, even without the concussion. You're 13. Live to play another day. So anyways. Okay. So long story short. The game continues. And Connor's still in the game. Okay. 
You know what? This makes me so upset because that coach needs to be fired and never allowed to coach again for letting that kid back in the game. And if his parents were there, they should have ran on the field and punched the yeah, coach March right in the face. The agreement so that if our kid got hit in the head like that, I'd be on the field. And the coach kept him in. We would walk. I would. Out and I would take be on the field. Our kid out and say so, like he's done. No, no, no. Yeah. There's no. There's a, head injuries. You don't f with. Okay. So anyway. Game so on. game goes on. Of course, this kid's reaction time, and you could tell we score a goal right away because yeah. yeah. the ball he would have saved it. This kid was good. He was a we, good keeper. He scored one and then twice. Another so one within on like another the minute. Go ahead, goal. Okay, he comes out, and his reaction time is probably about thirty percent of what it was before. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating, and Connor just. And guess what happened? Like eight, his like shin or his, his ankle, leg, and he ankle. couldn't even walk. So not only did this kid go home with a concussion, 100% that kid, there's no, here's the thing you learn in concussion protocol. There is no mild concussion. There is a concussion. There's no degrees of concussion. You're concussed, okay? Not only did he get that, he probably got post-concussion syndrome because he got hit again in his head, but he also now, he probably has a sprained ankle. All because they kept him in a useless U13. It's not the Olympics. It's, it's not, not the, the it's not the world. No, 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 even in the World Cup, Olympics. you don't play with a head injury. You never play. You look. If my look, my daughter has played with 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 her ouchies and knee injuries and ankle injuries. Look, man, I'll play through a broken arm. When I was in football, I played through a concussion. We didn't get concussions back then. We got our bell rung. The coaches didn't know. So after you have a concussion, how long are you supposed to stay out of it? Playing. It depends on your concussion history. You have yeah. to be cleared. So yeah. sometimes it could take a month. Sometimes yeah. it could take a week. After a certain number of concussions, yeah. you're done. Yeah. You're done. Your career's over, and rightfully so. Look, man, I've had all my concussions. I don't know what's going to happen when I turn 50 or 60. My business partner, Chad, he damn sure doesn't know what's going to happen. I had a severe concussion as a child. I fell off a bicycle without a helmet, and I don't have any recollection of it happening. Um, even right afterwards, obviously it's been like 30 something years since that happened. And I was hospitalized for multiple nights, taken by ambulance, not allowed to do any kind of physical activity for a full year afterwards. And, rem and that was in the eighties. They knew enough to do that. I wasn't allowed to ride a bike, do the monkey bars, roller skate, anything where there's the chance of repeat head trauma. So let's get, let's get to the point. Like I talk a lot and that's fine. Um, <laughs> YouTube seems to like it. So here's my deal. Look, man. I'm all about playing through pain. My daughter falls down like she she played she actually played it up and got a penalty called against the other girl. <laughs> um, look, when you go down and your ankle hurts a little bit, play through it, man up, right? I always told my kids rub some dirt on it. And actually, one time, Cammy gets hurt in like a little. I was seven years old. She literally takes dirt and rubs it on her leg. I'm like, that wasn't me. So look, I'm about playing through pain. This right here, mm -mm. head injuries, no. That's where I draw the line. So this club, top hat out of Atlanta, I am not happy with you. I called you out. Your yeah. coach for that team, he needs to be fired. He needs to be coach. fired. And I, I pray for that kid. And his parents, if they were at the game, maybe they didn't know any better. But, dude, if you're a parent, your kid goes they down didn't know with any, any I don't care if they passed the coach. And dude, he pa okay, he passed concussion protocol. He's on the field holding his head yeah. and slouched over. There, you just failed every concussion protocol. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. That's the story. Parents out there, be cognizant of the head injuries. Kids out there, play through pain, play through knees, play through ankles, play through dislocated shoulders. I do it, but don't play through brain pain. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Follow me and Katie on Instagram. I'm at Mark Lobliner. She is Katie Lobliner. Very, very hard names to understand, but I have the blue check, which means I'm superior. Anyway, guys, love you so much. God bless. That's not a game. When I was a kid, I once put peanut butter and marshmallow on a sandwich. Little did I know those are called fluffernutters. A fluffernutter sandwich is peanut butter marshmallow. It is so good. So I thought to myself, Mark, how do we get the taste of a fluffernutter sandwich, high in protein, low in carbs and fat, that you could drink or make into a delicious pudding like I call it sludge, without the diabetes? Well, now we got the peanut butter fluff mts way it's in stock and it is so good peanut butter marshmallow you drink it you eat it as a sludge you feel this ah
this childhood exuberance of deliciousness coming through your mouth. Anyway, peanut butter fluff available now at tigerfitness.com. You will not regret it. This is one of the best tasting ways I have ever created.